Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. Someone really must have manifested this video out of me today because I was not planning on recording this, but as I was getting ready to go about my day, I kept feeling my guides urging me to speak on twin flame signs that are internal, that are personal, that are extremely intense but also deeply individual, meaning no one could understand them except you, the one experiencing them. And the reason I feel I've been guided to make this video is because twin flame connection is something that cannot be understood at the level of the human conscious mind. And yet when we feel this pull so intensely, often feeling pulled back to a particular physically incarnated soul over and over again through the course of however long you've been on this twin flame journey, whether it's days, weeks, years, decades, whatever the case is for you, feeling this intensity can lead to trying to figure it out from the conscious mind. And so very often we can get very confused as we try to label and categorize all of these signs and synchronicities that are very real and that we do receive as signs. But the thing about any form of external sign or confirmation of twin flame connection is that external signs are really not the end all be all. These are sort of like supplementary signs confirming twin flame connection, but the true confirmation has to come from within this path is highly sacred, highly protected. And because of this, nothing outside of yourself can truly determine whether or not a person is your twin flame. And when I say nothing outside of yourself, I'm not just speaking to psychics, to readers, to tarot videos, although these again can be very, very powerful supplementary tools along your journey and ways to confirm what you already know intuitively within, but that's just the key. It all comes back to your intuition. I often say on this channel that your intuition is truly the compass of your life, always leading to your true north, which is the path that is your highest path, that is the path to all of your desires in life, including experiencing the highest vibrational soul connection available to you in the physical at this time. And of course, twin flames do share the highest vibrational form of connection possible because there is no beginning or end to this. You and your twin flame soul incarnated simultaneously and because of this, you share the same core soul frequency, an identical vibration that allows you to connect with this kind of depth that is almost like being on a different plane of existence from every other form of soul connection. So with that being said, in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you five signs, somewhat unusual and extremely intense signs of twin flame connection that will really help you cut to the core of what is going on in your life at this time. If you feel that you could be experiencing a twin flame path, but you feel those doubts surfacing from time to time, or you might be finding it difficult to sort out, is this a twin flame? Is this a very high level soulmate? Because when it comes to external signs and synchronicities, those external signs have a lot of overlap between twin flames and high level soulmates, and even some overlap with karmic situations, relationships, because of course, every person we connect with carries a piece of ourself. They are there to take us to the next level spiritually in some way, or to teach us some kind of lesson. 
but only our twin flame shares our core soul frequency and therefore is always connected literally quantum entangled with us at the energetic most core level of our being so with that being said, I do also invite you to subscribe to this channel, to like this video, and also feel free to comment as you are listening. If you do hear any sign that resonates with you, do keep in mind that if not every sign resonates with your twin flame path, that is perfectly okay and normal. These are just some commonalities that twin flames tend to experience that are very unique to twin flame connection so sign number one is that after meeting your twin flame you find that you are experiencing heightened energetic sensitivity to your external environment physically in a way that you didn't experience prior this is also a common sign of spiritual awakening and the reason for that is because meeting a twin flame is very similar to having a spontaneous awakening due to the energy exchange that occurs between twin flames upon having that touch point experience of meeting, encountering each other in the physical world because of this intense energy exchange that very quickly raises the level of your vibration you do undergo a spiritual awakening after meeting your twin flame unless of course you already triggered that awakening prior which in that case meeting your twin flame will radically amplify some of what you've already been experiencing through your spiritual awakening but the key here is your twin flame deeply impacts your energetic field because of the way in which you are literally merging at the spiritual level the thing about raising your vibration, raising your frequency is that although it opens you up to being more spiritually gifted, meaning you are able to sense more from others, you are able to experience life in a more intense, profound way, experience emotions more intensely and profoundly to understand others to a greater degree, all of this being due to your ability at this higher rate of vibration to attune to the finer frequencies of everything around you. However, just like with a very finely tuned instrument, you are also very susceptible to being to being impacted in what your ego may label as a negative way by things physically that may have not impacted you in the past. There are a myriad of examples of what happens when you experience heightened energetic sensitivity, but one of the common ones is dietary or food changes. So you might find after going through this experience, meeting a twin flame, raising your level of vibration, that foods you used to eat no longer align with you or feel like they negatively impact your energy levels, your physical body to a greater degree. Some people may find that during this kind of an awakening experience, they choose to eat a more vegetarian or plant-based diets or choose to shift their diet to more high vibrational foods, incorporating more whole foods, fruits and vegetables, simply because they find that it is more difficult to tolerate some of those lower vibrational types of food now again this can manifest very differently for different people so if that doesn't connect with you personally you may simply find that being around negative cynical pessimistic people or environments tends to cause you to feel extremely exhausted or drained in a way that it may have not impacted you as much in the past you may find that your ability to empathize, but quite literally that root word empath to be what we consider an empath is radically increased. And that of course can have both a dark and a light side to it because while you are able to connect with the emotions, the experiences of others to a greater level, and therefore you are being transformed into a very powerful healing 
force and being on this planet. On the other side of this, you also are able to pick up on the lower, the denser vibrations that others might be carrying in their being, and you can feel them as though they are your own. So as we're talking about spiritual awakening, this is a perfect segue into the second sign you've met your twin flame, which is quite literally, they either spark or intensify to the nth degree, to a very high degree, your spiritual awakening process. Again, this is an energetic impact. In fact, the effect of this will be so expansive, so intense that you will find after meeting a twin flame, let's say you are months, years, decades out from that point of meeting, you can now go back over the course of your life since that point of meeting and you can see that that really marked a breaking point in your life. Not only were there a lot of those external signs and synchronicities around your meeting, which again are a confirming sign of twin flames, but can also be experienced with soulmates and even with karmics to a certain degree. Unlike those connections, you can see that meeting this person was absolutely groundbreaking for you in some way, paradigm altering, shifting for you. You will look back and see that connecting with this person has been a moment that has radically altered the overall course of your life. Meeting this person may have inspired within you some kind of gift, dream, goal that you came to share with the world. Connecting with this person may have caused you to go through this intense dark night of the soul experience that tore down every aspect and element of yourself that you used to identify with, but you are now realizing is not truly you, meaning the you at the core soul level. It is the you at the ego level that you've put on like a mask in this lifetime, meeting your twin flame because you are connecting with your authentic core soul frequency embodied in another human incarnation they will bring out within you those spiritual gifts and abilities you may have been stored that may have been stored unconsciously but at the same time they will trigger all of those parts and pieces of yourself that are disaligned with your highest version of self that you may or may not yet be ready to let go and of course all of these signs are equally experienced by your twin flame counterparts as well the third sign you've met your twin flame, and this again is a result of the energy merge, a result of this raising of your vibration that inevitably happens and sometimes even happens in spite of the ego pushing against it, especially in the case of the divine masculine polarity, but that's really for another video. But through this process, you will find a deeper sense of alignment with your own spiritual essence and alignment with your soul mission and purpose. The thing about twin flame connection is your twin flame encompasses every aspect of a person you could be connected with. It's difficult to find the words to really describe, but it's often said your twin flame will be your greatest teacher, your greatest lover, your best friends. For some, they will be a business partner. For others, this soul will be working with you in the 5D unconsciously, assisting you in your soul's mission and purpose here on earth, even if you find yourself 3D physically disconnected from from them. Twin flames are always collaborating in this way. So you will find that after you have this conscious moment of meeting your twin in the physical, over the course of time following that meeting, there will be this intense radical realignment with what you came on this earth to do. And of course that will differ from person to person. But you will often find that because of this alignment with your spiritual purpose, a dream, a goal, something will be awakened, a passion, a hobby within you. And very often for many souls, this will somehow be in connection with having met your twin flame who brought up such intense emotions 
such intense depth of feeling and connectedness within you. So you might find yourself inspired to create music, to create art in some way, to pursue a dream that maybe you had abandoned long ago. And it's a really beautiful thing, but also a very intense process because that realignment with our soul purpose requires an ego death. And really that would be, I would say the fourth sign that you've met your twin flame is during the time of connecting with your twin flame in the physical, either around the time of your meeting or after meeting them, you have experienced some depths of what the ego would label as negative emotion. You've experienced loneliness, isolation, confusion, doubt, uncertainty, but at the same time, you've also experienced heights of feeling that you've never imagined possible. Love, ecstasy, passion, connectedness with all things on planet earth, with all other souls. Your twin flame has broken you open in both directions, both to the heights of expansion, self-expression, interconnectedness, but also the depths of loneliness, isolation, uncertainty, and so much of those depths of feeling are really coming from, stemming from our ego human self, which is so heavily programmed, trying to hold on to aspects, parts, pieces of ourself that were programmed into us. So to assist you with this process of really what we call ascension, after meeting your twin flame, allowing yourself to take this very, very powerful energetic experience of meeting your twin and allow that energy to move through you, releasing blocks and barriers and conditions that you've placed on really your own self-love, which then reflects outward into all of the universe as well. When we break down these blocks and barriers within ourselves, not only do we radically intensely attract in our twin flame in the physical world, more connectedness, conversation, experience physically with our twin flame, but also we magnetize ourselves for receiving and giving unconditional love to everything and everyone, which makes us highly magnetic for attracting our heart's true desires through heart-based manifestation as well. So to assist you with breaking down these energetic blockages that you might still be carrying within yourself, specifically your seven chakra centers, which are the main energy centers of the energy body, I've created a twin flame seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation. So as you can see on the screen, this subliminal comes from my website, soundandsoulful.com. On this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So I have subliminals for physical appearance changes, for mood shifts like confidence, happiness, anxiety relief, for manifesting specific material things into your life, for love, relationships, and so much more. And you can try out any subliminal I've created completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my website, which again, all of that information is linked in the pinned comments and description box under this video. But finally, the fifth sign that you have met your twin flame in the physical world is that even months or perhaps years after meeting this person, not only do you find yourself always pulled back to them almost as though, and actually energetically, quite literally, because your souls are tethered to one another, you feel yourself, your consciousness pulled back to them, which isn't really you being pulled back. It's that you are consciously recognizing the connectedness that has never ceased to be on the energetic plane between yourself and this person. But because of this, one specific sign you will get with a twin flame is that frequently, consistently over the course of months or years, 
you will find yourself in those moments of stillness, of silence, when your conscious mind is completely relaxed, either in meditation. Often this happens for people prior to falling asleep, right as they are awakening. In those times when you are completely alone with yourself, you very often find that you begin to feel, to sense this person's soul as though they are there with you, existing on that plane of existence that is only shared between between the two of you. And because of this, some might find that they wake up or fall asleep or even wake up in the middle of the night thinking about their twin flame. Because again, in those moments when the conscious mind is out of the way, and the subconscious, which is really connected to our energetic field, is wide open. It feeds us information, in this case in the form of thoughts, feelings, or images of your twin speaking to you, whispering to you about that connectedness you share at the soul level. And again, to assist you in reprogramming your subconscious mind when it comes to unconditional love and connection because it is the subconscious that controls 95% of our thoughts, actions, and outcomes in life. My subliminals are a really powerful tool for subconscious mind reprogramming because subliminals are directed to those deeper parts of the mind, the unconscious mind, the deeper levels of our own energy field. So again, the seven chakra twin flame clearing is a great place to get started with deeply reprogramming your own subconscious, becoming magnetic for unconditional love, both from your twin flame and also attracting love and manifesting your dreams and goals through love into physical reality. And the link to this twin flame seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. Otherwise, thank you so much to all of you beautiful souls who are connecting here on this channel. I hope that whoever manifested this video out of me today received whatever information they needed. I would love for you to leave me a comment if you have any thoughts on this topic or ideas for future podcast videos. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe and join our beautiful community of like-minded, conscious, creative beings here on YouTube. You can also follow me on Instagram at Magnetize Yourself, where I post more in-depth twin flame updates and information. Have a beautiful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next podcast.